Last Monday, we made two classic Champs-Élysées, one with green chartreuse and one with yellow chartreuse, and I told you that soon would be the time to make a Truffles on the Rocks version. So today's the day. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So in case you missed the video from last Monday when we made the classic Champs-Élysées, I'm gonna link it up here. But what we done during this episode is we made a comparison between the classic cocktail using green chartreuse with his not so classic cousin using yellow chartreuse. In my opinion, in this cocktail, the green won over the yellow, but still there was some very interesting tasting notes in the cocktail using yellow chartreuse. So I thought for our Truffles on the Rocks version, it would be a good idea to make some kind of a mashup. So what you will need for the cocktail today is cognac, Irish whiskey, vanilla, some Angostura bitters, and a homemade apple and saffron cordial. First, in a container, you will weigh 4.5 grams of acacia powder, also known as gum arabic. To that, you will add 15 grams of water, close the lid, and let that bloom at room temperature until your cordial is ready. For the cordial, what you will do is weigh 6 grams of tartaric acid, 2 grams of malic acid, and 0.02 grams of Spanish saffron. Then you will cut in very thin slices 50 grams of Granny Smith apples. You will place all that in a sous vide bag, on top of which you're gonna add 70 grams of sugar and 250 grams of water. You will seal your bag, place that in the fridge and let that infuse for 12 hours. Once you're done with the infusion, you will end up with a beautiful yellow colored liquid that you will fine strain into a bottle, on top of which you will add your now liquid gum arabic that's gonna add a lot of texture to the cordial, it's gonna make for a very nice mouthfeel in the cocktail. And this is it, this is how we make the apple and saffron cordial for our Champs-Élysées. And guys, don't throw away the apples, we're gonna use them later for the garnish. And now we're ready to make the cocktail. So we're gonna pour one ounce and a half of cognac into a mixing glass. I'm using NSC VSOP, which I believe is the perfect choice for this cocktail. But if you have Pierre Ferrand 1840, that's gonna go really well. And if you're more a Rémy Martin type of person, you can try with the 1738, which also gonna pair perfectly with all these beautiful spicy notes that there's in this one. So we're gonna go with an ounce and a half of your favorite cognac, let's put it that way, into a mixing glass. To that, we're gonna add half an ounce of Irish whiskey. I'm using Dead Rabbit, but uh, we're gonna infuse it with vanilla. So we're gonna go with three ounces of Irish whiskey with one gram of vanilla pod sliced in two. Just gonna place the vanilla pod into your whiskey and let that infuse for 24 hours. I'll let it in there for an even more intense vanilla notes sometimes because I just love it, but you can strain it after 24 hours. So half an ounce of that. Half an ounce of green chartreuse. Three quarters of an ounce of our saffron and apple cordial. and one dash of Angostura bitters. I'm using a Japanese dashing bottle, so we're gonna go with two dashes because they make smaller dashes. And now we can fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. So we can now strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. And 
we're gonna garnish it with some of our infused apple on a pick just like that and this my friend is how you make our version of the champs elysees so now let's give it a try I always feel a little bad to say that when it's a cocktail that I've created, but in my opinion, this is better than the classic Champs-Élysées. It's a bold statement, so I hope you guys are gonna try it and let me know if you feel the same way as I do, but I think this is beautiful. We get the classic notes of the classic Champs-Élysées because of the cognac and the green chartreuse. Just a little bit of tartness to balance the sugar, not too much, uh, in which we add some apple taste because of the apple and the malic acid, which is the acid that comes from the apple. The tartaric acid is the acid that is found in the grape, so it goes really well as an acidity to blend with the cognac. The saffron and the vanilla in the Irish whiskey kind of makes you feel like you're having a little bit of yellow chartreuse in it. The Irish whiskey adds a little bit of malty flavors that makes it a little drier than if it was only with cognac. Just a hint of spices because of the Angostura. I love it. Plus, I love the fact that it's kind of mind-bugging because you get a clear cocktail with acidity. This is the kind of thing that I really like. So I really like it. I hope you're gonna like it too. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Mm.